Hi guys and welcome back to Car Focus. Today you join me as always with my Focus RS Mark II in the background and with the um, restrictions relating to lockdown kind of eased slightly it means that I'm able to finally get out in this car, go for a bit of a drive and take a little walk around the car. So this is my exercise walking around the car with you guys. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Um, basically going to show you around, show you the new wheels that are fitted and we're also going to talk about a few things that I've done to the car the changes that I've done to kind of clean it up and get it looking the way I personally think it should. Now we're not quite finished, but there's not too much really that I want to do now with the car visually. Um, it's pretty much going to be maintenance from here on out. Possibly a few more um, engine upgrades, um, a recirc valve, because my current one is making that whistling sound, which is quite annoying. And then, um, yeah, just sort of freshening up underneath, so uh, lower arms, drop links, uh, wishbones, that kind of thing, just to get a bit of the rust under, underneath it, and then also a bit of bodywork as well. But visually, I'm happy with the car, um, so I thought I'd take you around it, show you the new wheels, so you can let me know what you think, tell me if you prefer the silver over the black, or if you prefer the black, and I'll also just show you little bits and bobs that I've done, and then we'll do a drive video in the next one. We'll finally get in this car and go for a proper blast on a back road. And I can just tell you what I think about the car now, how it makes me feel, and we can kind of discuss a little bit how it compares to the Mark III as well. But I, I definitely think I owe you a driving video imminently. Anyway, I've also, you might notice I've got my COVID cut. I'm sure there are a lot of guys out there now that are nursing this um, DIY haircut, grade four all over. I've never shaved my hair, so it was a, it was a big deal for me. It's grown out a bit now, but, yeah, so I probably look quite different, like I've just come out of prison. <laughs> yeah, I do apologise for that. Anyway, I'm going to flip the camera around, take a walk around the car, have a little chat, and then um, until the next video, we'll then go for a drive. But yeah, let's flip the camera around anyway, and you can uh, share your thoughts with what you think about the car. So guys, here we are at the rear of the car. One of the best angles, in my opinion. She looks beautiful. While we're at the back here, I'm just gonna talk through a few bits that I've done at the back. Not much, I've removed the focus badge. Obviously it was there, it was kind of looking, it was just a bit weird, it, it wasn't in line with the RS badge. The focus badge was here and the RS badge is up there. It just didn't look very symmetrical. So remove that, it's kind of cleaned up the rear a bit now. Fitted the new number plates uh, by roller plates. You can see there, check, them, check those guys out on Instagram. These are shortened versions, they are legal. They're gel plates as well, but they're really good quality, as you can see from the video, and they just look better than the, the standard longer plates. So again, just sort of tidying up the rear of the car. Also had the Scorpion exhaust fitted, as you can see there. So they, they do kind of, they, they kind of, they sit quite far in the diffuser, but they do look smart. I like the way they sort of angle upwards. Uh, the mongoose I had, it was kind of, they were almost, almost horizontal when they came out. But these ones have got a nice angle to them. I can't even see the screen, guys, by the way, so I hope you can see what I'm pointing the camera at. Um, you may have noticed that I've got a little chip there, look. Something else I need to get sorted at some point. This car does have a few bits that I need to, I need to address. Um, while we're on the uh, topic of the exhaust, it's kicking up a lot of stuff. These cars, they do kick up a lot of, um, a lot of soot. And around here, it, it starts to go brown if you don't clean it for a while and it becomes a pain to get off. So I had to actually polish it off when I cleaned the car last. So I ceramic, I put some ceramic coat on the back of the car um, from Sam's Detail in ceramic wax. It's meant to last about eight months. So I'm hoping it's gonna make cleaning that off easier. But already I've only been out for a small drive and the back of the car is already getting covered in soot and crud. Now, I've also changed the mud flaps. You can see the MSRT mud flaps. You can see the wheel there. Ooh. Yeah, I think if you're running spacers, so these are running 20 mil, they're the wheels. So there you go. Do look lovely, didn't they? If you're running uh, 20 mil spacers on the rear and 15s on the front like me, I do recommend that you buy some mud guards just to kind of assist with a bit of protection from stuff flicking up and hitting the side of the car. So yeah, that's the rear, but we'll go around to the side now and you can see the silver wheels. Now, I think these look a million times better. It's got much more definition in the wheel, really goes with the white paintwork of the car, just makes it look nice and clean. Yeah, it probably doesn't look as aggressive um, as it did with the black wheels and the black vents, but with the white vents and the silver wheels, this is just looking now 
fresh as a daisy. Now it's still standard ride height, so it's still fairly high, but I kind of like that look. It kind of looks like a rally sort of, this car's meant to look like a road going rally car. And with it a little bit jacked up, it kind of goes along with that theme. So I'm debating on whether to fit the Ibex. So what do you think? Should I fit my Ibex springs? Let me know in the comments box below. So also speaking of wheels, I've changed the tires. We're running Michelin Pilot Sport 4S now. Yeah, there's no tire gel on them. I don't really like putting tire gel on them because it, over time it flicks up and it just creates a mess on the wheels. So I haven't put any of that on. But these tires are mega. I ran these on my Mark III RS. I had budget tires on this car before. Don't ask why, but there was a mixture of budget tires. Whipped those off as soon as I could. And the car is a, it's a different drive now with these tires on. Also, I've changed the gel badging on here and on the front here. I covered that in a previous video just to tidy it up a little bit more. Obviously the front number plate there is shorter as well. I've removed the splitter. I just, I'm just trying to go for that, that cleaner factory look. So yeah, splitter's gone. So again, that says it came out the factory. And I removed the stripe that was down the side. I just didn't feel it needed it. Again, it's much cleaner without it. And the car also had fly eye stuff on the headlights. There's still a bit remaining there that I need to try and get off. Had it on the headlights, the fog lights, the indicators, and the rear lights as well. So I whipped all that off. I've changed the wipers, <laughs> just a, a basic little mod. I've got the Motocraft ones. You can pick those up from Ford, from your, your local dealership or parts store. They're about, I can't remember how much they are now. 25, 30 quid or something like that. Yeah, changed the wipers. And I've just, just basically given it a good clean, really. I mean, it was already clean when I picked it up, but just try and keep it clean. Keep it looking nice and fresh. I think it looks really good. I think I also owe you a bit of a sound clip with the exhaust, so I'll set the, uh, the tripod up in a sec and we'll give you some revs, but yeah. What do you think to these wheels, guys? Prefer them? I love them. I also bought these as well, these little dust caps from the uh, Ford website, the Ford Performance dust caps. And I think, I think guys, that that is pretty much it. I just don't think this car needs anything else. It just looks awesome as it came out the factory. Yeah, it probably would look a little bit better lower, but they do become a bit of a pain when you lower them. Inside, it's all as, uh, as it was from standard. I don't think I need to do anything in here. It's pretty tidy. This car's covered 44,000 miles, so there's been no modifications inside here. I'm gonna keep it as it is. I've done a few bits under the engine, uh, under the bonnet. We'll crack open the bonnet now, and I shall show you that. And guys, another thing. This had the Heco wind deflectors on here. I strongly not recommend fitting them. They make permanent damage, like to the rubbers. You can see that's slightly uh, pushed out there. They make a right racket when the windows are up. There's also a slight kink in the rubber there. It's sort of permanent from where it's fitted, so I got rid of them straight away. If you've got them, or if you want to get them, I wouldn't advise it. Anyway, under the bonnet. So, what have I done here? I fitted the Mountune uh, Plenum, the RS500 one in black. I fitted the Mountune hoses, the Mountune induction with the V2 filter. Um, I replaced this because it had like a mirror finish thing on top with an RS badge. So I changed that as well. I do have a turbo, um, a, a turbo to crossover pipe to fit in there which matches these. I just need to get around doing it because you've got to remove the scuttle panel and the wipers and stuff to get access down there. So we'll do that one day on a rainy day. Um, obviously changed the ox belts in a previous video. But yeah, I'd like to uh, change this Symposer hose here. I'm pretty sure this Symposer doesn't even work. It must have split um, up here somewhere, but I quite like the way it looks. Again, it's factory. So just to kind of get the, the silicon hose, which matches these on there and that's, that's pretty much it really but i think the engine bay now it just again it just looks like nice and oem plus i love the mountain inlet plenum and i think if you've got a standard plenum and you're running a bit more boost it's it's wise to get that changed out this is obviously running the super chips stage one remap which has been running for a long time uh, my ctec connector i've hardwired it to the battery so over the winter i can just stick it on the ctec so yeah guys, that is pretty much it. 
We mind giving this a bit of a, a thorough clean at some point. At least start to oxidise a little bit. You can see in there, but it's pretty clean the engine bay. Look, the overall, I mean, overall the whole car is, is pretty clean for an 11 year old car. It's not in bad shape. Now, by all means, this car, as tidy as it is, it's not perfect. There are a few things I do want to address. The exhaust is knocking, it's hitting the floor plan. The floor pan, should I say. It's ever since I had it changed. Um, it's actually with the standard cat, there's a, there's a bracket and a rubber um, the, where, where it hangs. So the bracket here where the rubber is attached, when the car, when the exhaust is moving, when the car's traveling and there's movement through the exhaust, that bracket is hitting the floor and it's quite annoying because it does it quite a lot. So I've ordered a Powerflex um, poly hanger. It might stiffen it up a little bit, but I think I might just take it to a garage and get them to have a look at it, get it up on a, on a lift and hopefully try and stiffen up the exhaust a bit. I think the hangers, maybe that they put on a Scorpion uh, a little bit too flexible, so there's a bit more movement in the exhaust, but it wasn't doing it before the exhaust went on, and it is now. So yeah, I wanna get that fixed. Obviously underneath is looking a bit rusty now. I wanna get the components underneath refreshed and changed. The rear arches, I mean, I'll show you the rear arches quickly. They're not horrendous. I think I did show you these before. Don't know if you can just see. I've touched that bit up a little bit. They're just starting to get a bit of surface rust now. There's a bit more there. I mean, they're not horrendous, don't get me wrong. But um, this is the other side. Again, I've touched that up a little bit there. You can just see on the inside there where they're starting to go, but very common issue. So yeah, that's another thing. I want to get sorted with the car. Um, there's just a few little bits and bobs with the paint as well. Um, probably while the arches are getting done. I've got that chip on the rear diffuser. There are a couple of little blemishes, but there's, I mean, over, uh, other than that, there's pretty much nothing really. I've got some new discs and pads um, for the rear. I need to get some for the front, get them changed. OEM discs and pads. I'm going to stick with the stage one map that we're running. Um, I think it's just going to be really care and maintenance from here on. Possibly fit the Ibac springs, but yeah. Other than that, guys, it's keeping the car on the road, keeping it tidy. You know, you see a lot of these modified. I had a look on Auto Trader, and most of them have some form of exterior modifications on them. Normally the black wheels or the black vents, but there are a lot of heavily modified cars out there. And I think now to find one like this, which looks pretty stock, um, they're becoming more of a rarity so yeah the plan is just to keep it keep it looking like this keep it tidy and hopefully it will hold its value nicely just look after it keep it serviced so yeah it's pretty much the plan anyway I've been babbling on for ages now guys you're probably bored stiff of hearing me so I'm gonna put the camera on the back of the car we'll fire it up I'll give it a few revs um, just to give you a little sample of what the exhaust sounds like. The full exhaust video that's coming, that's a future video that we'll do with drive-bys and stuff and set a camera up in the car and explain what it's really like to live with when you're driving the car around. So yeah guys, I'm going to put the camera on the back, do a few exhaust clips and then that is it. So I'm going to sign the video off now. So as always guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about the car. I personally think it looks really good now, really clean, tidy, fresh and almost stock. Do you like this look? Would you change it? Would you go for the heavily modified look? Uh, let me know in the comments box below. So time for the exhaust clips guys, but until the next uh, video, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there, take care, and I shall see you soon.